this pimple. I mean, I'm just, I'm team second logo, and I'm gonna keep pushing this logo while we wrap this up. My branch of the Fulton County Public Library System step day cookies up, okay? Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another weekly vlog. If you watched the last one, you know why I sound like I've been smoking a pack of new points a day. I really don't feel like going back into this, but hopefully by the end of this vlog, we'll be back to normal. I'm not a tea drinker, and I don't feel like starting right now. Today, for breakfast, we are eating three pieces of turkey bacon. Cause that's what we got. I'm setting myself up right now to get started with work. It is 11 a.m. I've been setting myself up for like the past hour. I have a really long list of things that I need to do this week in general, and I'm trying to prioritize, but I have to, you know, stop overthinking it because the longer I try to prioritize the less time I have to actually do the work. It's a double whammy, really. It's a double whammy. I am listening to my homegirl, Deanna. I mentioned her before. We both have like similar work styles, I say. So sometimes in the mornings we'll like tell each other what we're working on throughout the day and it kind of gives me an idea how I want to structure my day. It sounds lame, but we're not lame. You're lame if you don't have friends like that. <laughs> in an attempt to be a little more organized, I'm going to work using the Pomodoro method. If you don't know what that is, basically it's like working in time blocks. So Pomodoro, typically you work for 25 minutes straight and then take a five minute break, 25 minutes, five minute break. I need a little bit more than 25 minutes. I feel like that's not enough for me to then be taking these little breaks. So I do 35 minutes on, 10 minutes off. I have an app on my phone called Focus Keeper. This is what the app looks like. When you open it, this is what you got going on. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a new task. And then every, um, every you get a certain number of sessions per round. So a session includes your focus time and your break time. I have four sessions per round. So every four sessions, I get a, I schedule a 30 minute break. I think my short breaks of 10 minutes works great for me i'm able to like take a proper bio break if i need one i'm able to just like read sometimes i'll read a couple pages of a book in between if, as a reward if i want to so stuff like that the first task i want to knock out because i know it's something i can do quickly are my emails um i have a bunch of emails um sitting in my in, in my inbox waiting to be responded to a lot of them have to do with like brand deals and stuff like that um, most of which I'm turning down. I just want to be to the courtesy of replying to the email. Um, one of which I'm moving forward with. So I have like paperwork to fill out for that. And then I am onboarding onto a new project as a contracted art director. So my role on the project, this is not a client that's coming through my own um, business. It's me personally being contracted to another business as an art director for an experiential production. So. I am um, gonna go double check and see like, you know, filling out like your W-9 and all that stuff to send over to them. I don't know if I've been sent all my NDAs and stuff like that, so I just wanna see that I'm on point and organized for that. Our kickoff is on Wednesday, it's Monday. I wanna be prepared ahead of time. I don't play around when it comes to dealing with other people's clients. I don't wanna give a bad impression for the client. I don't want their business to be reflected poorly. I don't want my business to be reflected poorly, obviously. And because I am a contractor for someone else's business, I'm on their time and their schedule versus, I mean, I still have like the, the autonomy or ability to be able to, you know, have them work with me on my schedule. But at the end of the day, this agency that contracted me is running the show. And so I have a little less leeway on like, you know, deliverable dates and things like that. So that's just me being um, over prepared. This is here. So I kind of just always have an idea of how much time I have left. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get to work. It's Tuesday. My voice feels a little bit better today. I almost sound normal or maybe I'm bugging. I probably sound just as crazy. It is almost 9.30, so I'm about to um, go to the gathering spot to get some work done. I'm really going to have breakfast, of course, but I'm gonna get some work done while I'm there. Probably chill for a couple hours and then I'm likely gonna run my couple errands and then come back here and finish work. But um, let's see what happens. One thing I really wanna do today I keep seeing people on Facebook. Yes, I'm still on Facebook. If you're not in the Facebook groups, you're missing out. I keep seeing people on Facebook talk about this um, lemon sheet cake. I tried it, it's immaculate. And now I need to buy two or three to have an house. So I'm going to Trader Joe's today. I also need to go to Target for a little stuff. It's 80 degrees in Atlanta today, so let's get outside. So as you can see, I showed up. The entrance is 
right there under that scaffolding. So I did show up today. However, it's now two o'clock and um it was freezing cold in there every time i go there i'm like i'm not gonna last i'm not gonna last here and it almost makes me wonder if i should even keep my membership i show up there maybe three times a month the memberships right now for me is a hundred dollars a month i heard when i turn 30 it's gonna be more i don't remember that being the structure when i first became a member but i also wasn't nearing 30 so i probably wasn't paying attention to that but um i became a member I was 27. Was I 27? I was only 27. Yeah. I've had two birthdays in Atlanta so far. I'm going to Target right now. And I think on the way home, Target is near-ish. The library is on the way home from Target for me. So I think I'm going to stop the library. I kind of want to get um, some non-fiction. So I have some in my house already, but I'm trying to like tap into more psychology type of non-fiction. I'm thinking that I will have to get, I think I might have to do my research at home um, and see what book I want and then ask my branch to order the book. But regardless, we're going to the library because I want to look at books. I want to see what they got. I can't go to Barnes & Noble because I'm on a, a spending ban right now. I wowed out in the past two weeks. So that traveling, I was, yeah. No, I literally just said I wasn't allowed to buy anything and now I'm in the book section. Like, oh my God, y'all. Look at me breaking out. That's this. This is what happens, y'all. I'm stressed. That was one of the best two-hour lunch breaks I've ever taken. First of all, y'all saw I went to Target. I left with only what I needed, so no need to share what that was. It was boring adult stuff like soap. And then I went to the library. My branch of the Fulton County Public Library System stepped their cookies up. Okay, before they wouldn't like have a bunch of stuff that I would read and so I would go online and request that I get sent to my um, branch and then I would pick it up from there um, or on the rare occasion they'll have something but today it, it almost felt like I was in Barnes and Noble but anyway this is what I got I got While We Were Dating by Jasmine Guillory um, the first book of Jasmine Guillory's I read was by the book I loved it I thought it was cute I thought it was really really cute she's a romance writer um, then I read The Wedding Day I didn't like it at all like at all I think I gave it two stars just for the fact like it was, a, it was an okay story but I didn't it almost made me not want to read her again but when I saw my library had multiple books of her like they had a whole bunch of books of hers and her books are like kind of most of her books are like related to each other like in the same universe but you don't have to read them in order so I picked this one specifically because it's two black people on the cover one of my issues with the wedding date wasn't the interracial relationship it was things that were happening in the book as a result of the interracial relationship there wasn't enough commentary or or writing supporting my thoughts on it like it just didn't acknowledge the things that i thought were wrong and so i was turned off but i'm gonna try again i think this will be well i'll, I'll assume he's black i'll assume they're both black you know they could just be brown skin i don't know i got white smoke by tiffany d jackson I love Tiffany D. Jackson's books. I say I love, I only read two so far, but I read Monday's Not Coming and I read Grown. Grown was a little uncomfortable, I'll say that. I also own Weight of Blood, so, but I knew I wanted to read this. And wait, this is a like a thriller, horror maybe? I don't know if it's a horror or a thriller. It's a haunted house story. I don't know if it's a retelling or not, I'll have to look again, but it's a haunted house story. And The Weight of Blood is a retelling of Carrie. So I'm thinking I'll read both of these, like back to that. Lastly, I got The Five Wounds. This book has really, really good reviews. I heard it is a phenomenal um, drama. And when I see a book that is classified as a drama and it has really good reviews, and I think it's a family drama, I know I'm gonna cry. Like there has to be at some point, maybe two or three times I'm gonna cry during this book. And so I hope it does that for me. These are the type of books that I could sit in the house all weekend and read all three at once. No cap. Then I went to Trader Joe's. Do y'all want to see what I got from Trader Joe's? Okay. Everyone's yelling. Calm down. I'll show you. Trader Joe's sells my favorite protein bars ever. These are the best ones on the market. They just taste so good. I got two of these. I really like this pasta. It is linguine with pesto and tomatoes. Anything with pesto slaps. So I got that because... I ain't eat lunch yet today, so I'm gonna have one for lunch. This sheet cake, this mini sheet cake. Now, I don't know if you know, but I'm gonna put you on right now. The lemon, the mini lemon sheet cake from Trader Joe's 
delicious. It slaps. It's like crack. Like you won't be able to walk past it without getting a piece. I haven't had vanilla bean yet, but somebody must have spilled the beans and everybody at my Trader Joe's bought up the lemon. So I got vanilla bean and hopefully it's just as good. You can't go to CJ's without getting a bottle of wine. So I got Monique today. But yeah, I'm gonna get situated get comfortable i'm gonna get back to work soon i was editing and i was doing a couple other like like admin type of things i have so many emails so i'm gonna try to do more of that but now that i went to the library i definitely want to um get some reading done today i'm gonna wrap my work day up around 6 30 and it's clipped for the night trader joe's making me an instant chef it's so crazy this is so good um i just told you i bought two packages of this it's giving make the second package right now it is wednesday we made it to the middle of the week um my voice sounds way better i can already tell i have a lot of meetings today i'm not really feeling it i have and by a lot of meetings i mean i have three which is a lot for me we're having our internal kickoff today so i'll be meeting the other people that i'll be working directly with today um i also have a separate meeting for that same project with just um a smaller team including the graphic designer that i will be directing and then I have a meeting after those two with my with one of my clients. Um, and it's an hour long meeting. He actually called the meeting, so I don't know what the agenda is. So I'm kind of just going into it blind. I'm assuming he'll want to talk about the project. I sent him some stuff a while ago. Um, we hadn't really talked about feedback or anything yet. So I'm assuming that's what we'll be talking about. I don't really know. I hate going into meetings unprepared, but we'll see what's up with that. It is so stupid nice out today if i don't make it outside today i don't know it's it's over it's in low, the low 80s which is perfect in atlanta anything above that it's it's a dub and i don't want to work late again i worked late last night so i'm gonna try to you know not take a two hour lunch break <laughs> today um yeah as of right now i can respond i just got into this email so yeah. <laughs> i'll get into i'll respond in a second but <laughs> i'm like i'm missing so much already but yeah i can do thursday it's fine okay Okay, I just finished two out of the three meetings. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired right now, but I am really excited about that project. I have a lot of stuff that I wanna like look up and look into before we meet with the client tomorrow. I think you did do good with vlogging. It just took so long to edit because the footage was like shaky. Well, that's it was like, you were like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> excuse well, me. you're not supposed to use the, the transitional moment. Yeah, but even when, when you were... All you had to do was select. Mommy, is, and then like some of the... And then, you'll see, you'll see what I said about it in a video. You'll no, see. You, have to say? you will you have see. To say? You will see. You didn't even pay me. Bye. No, no bye. You didn't even pay me. This is free talent, and you know, and you know my eye is on point, and you know my skill is on point, okay? And I did it for free. I'm leaving with your two different earrings. Bye. No, no. <laughs> Do I sound good now? Yeah, you sound fine. That, that, that's the one I want to go with. It, it, it looked like when I looked at it, I said, shit. We're on opposite and teams here. We're on opposite teams. I like the other one. I'm not going to lie. Design wise, I like the other one. <laughs> like, it's a lot. Like, I, now, if you, look, if you was playing around with some and you was in your bag, but she probably were knowing you, and you got something that you want to show me. That's cool. My argument. Right, so, okay. You know what? It's not even an argument. I'm just I'm team second logo, and I'm gonna keep pushing this logo while we wrap this up. But I'll keep using the first one for for you. But I am also gonna keep using the second one as an option for you to look at, cause the second one is hot. It's it. I could do more. If we need to look at a third and fourth. Will they stand out more on the solid white or more on this off white kind of color? Yeah, for that it will be um a matter of accessibility because for example on here on, SAT words, I hear you. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed right now, I don't even know. I went to sleep at like eight o'clock. Literally, and still woke up in my regular time of five thirty. That is a long time to be sleeping. Anyway, I guess I'm well rested now, so it's time to get back into action. But today we have um, both equally a day of art direction and content creation. So I'm wearing both hats at once. My, my video that I'm making for is due tomorrow. So I'm filming that today. Because it is focused on work, one of the things that I absolutely have to do is 
my nails I don't you know I still haven't got my nails done in so long like I don't think I've got my nails done at all this year all done don't get too close and this pimple girl is this the same pimple i had a couple weeks ago are we dead ass my desk looks like shit as usual it's not that bad but i can't film like this and look at all this stuff on the floor that might be in my shot so i'm gonna clean this half of my apartment i want to be i want to start filming by mind you this is an all-day filming process um so i want to start by 10 30 because i do have a lot of client work to do as well so i'm gonna do my to-do list set up these shots clean and then i'll be back right now i'm still setting up i am filming myself as you can see while i film myself um it's a lot and it's hard to keep up with like my brain i don't even fully know what i'm doing right now but i know that i need to capture myself capturing myself doing what i gotta do for this video and that's what i'm gonna do i don't want to film with all these the wires should be managed regardless but i don't want to film with all these wires in the way so until i get my proper system for today i'm just gonna tape them into some place that they're out of my shot and i just wrote out a really simple shot list so that i know exactly what i want to do today i really should have did this yesterday you know i didn't need to do this today not right now not at the moment that i needed to be clean love yours okay this is much better can't see you can see them a little bit obviously but just looks way 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 better i love this one day i will actually um have my dust together like this like permanently not taped up the lighting in here is so bad today the lighting in here is not bad but on my phone it's coming off like the lighting is bad and now i'm having to try it with my ring light which is annoying because i like natural light this is a terrible angle I left to get lunch and to get shots of um, me working outside for lunch for the video. I'm actually doing work that I have to do, but I'm recording it as well. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Because all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind. Pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. The green is better. Life that's better than yours. Hi, my name is Corey. I'm a creator based in Atlanta and New York. First of all, I started off terrible. Let's run that back. Hi, my name is Corey. I'm a creator based in Atlanta and New York, and this is how I Photoshop all day. I always start off mentally preparing for whatever long to-do list I have, and I start off with some tea and a light breakfast. Um, my, I don't know what I'm going to say. I shouldn't be doing this off the top of my head. Hi, my name is Corey, and I'm a creator based in Atlanta and New York, and this is how I Photoshop all day. I said and too many times. It's finally Friday, thank God. It's a little loud, as you can hear, because I'm at the overlook in my building, which is basically, which is basically just um, an area overlooking around the building. Look, very cute. It's one of the like common areas or whatever. This is now my favorite one. And they just like renovated or redecorated or whatever. So yeah, it's cool. Um, I got something to eat, and I have. Mimosas. It's Friday. Why not? Not only do I have mimosas, I have a whole carafe. A whole carafe and a cooler. And now I'm so on time this is the best day of my life i'm on my way to my sister's dance recital and lord knows where part of georgia it starts in 45 minutes so hopefully i arrive on time <laughs> i don't even have gas like that and i'm still gonna push it let's just go let's go Oh, 
shy. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, click the subscribe button, turn on notifications, give me a huge thumbs up. So today, um, I had a dance recital and it was hip hop and ballet and I just finished it and it's like literally night time. I had a great time. She's about to teach me some moves. Are you coming to my house? I'll come over if you have food. My mom's gonna make food. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Are you sure or are you lying? I'm not lying. She makes food every night. Does she? Cause I'll be there every night if there's food every night. I don't know why I keep, what the why is it so dark all the time? I don't know why I keep forgetting to end these vlogs, but anyway, as you saw, I had a good week, so I'm gonna start a new one. Y'all be easy. Bye. Yeah, I'm on